Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Embedded TV. Today we're going to be talking about condition variables and uh, threading using uh, pthreads. Uh, condition variables is a special uh, little object that you can use in order to uh, do a little bit more advanced synchronization. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, first of all, let's do a little drawing here. Let's, cr let's create a use case first for, uh, for condition variables. And also, let me just switch screen so that you can see what I'm drawing. So, uh, condition, uh, condition variables. So, suppose we have two threads. We have thread one and we have thread two. And uh, in thread one, we want to um, uh, we want to push something to a list. Um, let's say we have we have a list. Uh, we have shared shared variables here. So this is shared list. Uh, we have a lock, which is basically p thread mutex. And um, by the way, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a little bit uh, simplified names here. Uh, so I don't have to type p thread in front of every single thing. So we could uh, say that this one is, um, and I'm I'm not gonna type the types of them either. So I'm just gonna call this lock. Uh, but this one is of type p thread mutex. Now um, we want to uh, have one thread that is the producer to push things into the list, and another thread which is the consumer to read things from the list. Um, and uh, each each item on this list is going to be sent to one uh, consumer. So, for example, we could have multiple consumers. Uh, we can have thread three, and uh, there'll be one item going here and one item going here, and then this one will produce one item. Let's say, or let's say this produces two items here, and one goes there, and one goes there. Um, so how do we implement this? What we need is a condition variable. So we define we define a mutex, we initialize the mutex, and we also initialize a variable uh, that we call cond, uh, which is of type. Let me just type them here: p thread uh, cond. T, we have p thread mutex t and we have uh, and list is basically a generic list uh, if I'm coding C I'm using the Linux list which is struct list head which you can use basically any list basically this is a um, uh, this is a this is a place where we're going to be putting data. So we do a cond in it to initialize this variable, and uh, then when we need to push things to this list, we simply we simply lock the mutex. So we do like this: uh, we lock the lock, and uh, we push into the list and uh, before we unlock the mutex we signal the condition variable so we do cond signal And uh, what this does is that um, it lets the it lets these threads know that the condition variable uh, that something has happened to the to the list uh, which we push the item to here. But we have to lock this lock uh, first before we signal the condition variable because the lock is also used by these threads. And I'm going to explain to you why. Uh, I'm going to explain how. Uh, so um, once we have signaled this, we unlock uh, the we unlock this lock, 
and uh, in here so for each one of these threads um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock so this would be basically p thread mutex lock uh, we're gonna lock the the mutex and um, then we're gonna do like this so uh, we're gonna have a while loop and this is very important that you have a while loop here so uh, we're gonna do while while um, list empty list is empty list and then we will do a cond wait and here is where all the fun stuff happens so we have cond wait we pass the cond variable the conditional and we also pass the lock the mutex which we have locked here and uh, then our while loop ends and we unlock uh, well, let's let's see we don't unlock there we first pop uh, or like retrieve the item I'll call this get as a generic method so just we just get an item and we delete the item um, but I just write the list get here to keep things simple um, or maybe we should just call it like list pop so that it looks more perfect uh, so we do we get the item and then then we unlock this so what's happening here is that uh, we lock this this mutex here then we check the variable but then when we do a cond wait this function actually unlocks this lock and then it um, it goes to sleep so it puts this thread to sleep so uh, this thread goes to sleep until this thread signals uh, and when this signal is um, when, when this thread signals the conditional variable then this one wakes up and locks the mutex again uh, and now we can check whether the list uh, is um, whether the list whether, whether there is an item on the list and the, the reason for doing it this way you always have to do it this way because you can sometimes wake up there are conditions when you can wake up and uh, you 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 got it like a spurious wake up so uh, you have multiple threads that wake up uh, and uh, the the data has been consumed so you have to still check it here um, and uh, once this uh, once this thread check when, once this check uh, succeeds and uh, there is an item on the list then you go get the item and then you unlock this so in here no other threads can access these these variables list and uh, yeah basically the list in this case um, and and cond actually because we are also locking uh, we also have to lock when we signal the cond uh, but while while the thread is sleeping here, then other threads can access uh, the list as well. Uh, and uh, once uh, the signal arrives, this basically wakes up one of the threads. You can also use a cond uh, broadcast, which wakes up uh, all the threads which are waiting on this conditional variable. So it's called broadcast. and um, it has the same functionality but it just broadcasts to all of the all, all of the all of the threads and wakes all of them up so this is a short introduction to condition variables uh, they're very useful as a synchronization tool uh, for implementing this particular pattern where you have uh, messages going out and then you need uh, threads consuming these messages um, one by one so uh, thank you for watching and uh, i hope you learned something I hope you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.